I've always been interested in astronomy, astrophysics, math. My name is Seth Redfield. I'm an assistant professor in the astronomy department at Wesleyan University. In the last 20 years or so, there's been a major breakthrough in astrophysics, and that has been our ability to actually find planets uh, around other stars. Prior to 20 years ago, we only knew of uh, the planets in our own solar system. And now we know of thousands of planets around other stars. And this opens up some really exciting and profound uh, scientific questions that we can now address in the coming decades. And one of those is the uh, habitability of these planets that we're finding. And so one of the questions that I'm really excited about is taking measurements of the atmospheres of these exoplanets in order to assess the conditions on these planets. I also use spectroscopy to measure the properties of the interstellar medium. That's the gas and dust that's drifting between the stars. The sun is actually located in a relatively low density region, but there's enough material that the sun and the, the wind of the, of the sun can actually interact with the interstellar medium. So one of the really exciting projects that we've done to map out the structure of the interstellar medium is to actually focus uh, in one particular direction, and that is the direction that the sun has traveled uh, over the last 40 million years. In other words, we're looking in our rear view mirror at the clouds uh, that we likely traversed uh, the, these last 40 million years. So one of the questions that I'm uh, really excited about is this connection between the interstellar medium, this gas and dust floating between the stars, and uh, life here on Earth and the long-term evolution of our climate. One thing that makes Wesleyan great is that students are involved in cutting-edge uh, research. And I think this is really important and something that uh, I love about Wesleyan. My exoplanet program uh, is something that attracts a lot, of, a lot of students to participate in, partly because they know they're doing cutting-edge astrophysics. They're doing something that we couldn't do, no astronomers could do 20 years ago. So it's really exciting. Not only are they learning the tools of the trade in terms of astrophysics, but they're uh, doing cutting-edge research.